All right. Uh, whenever you're ready, kick it in. And there's our intro, guys. That's not our intro. That's 100% going to be our intro. We're going. I'm the editor. I make things happen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. That was not the intro. This is the intro. Okay. Well, see, well, see now your intro doesn't make sense if we cut out my intro. It's not your intro. It was my burp. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, we are in it to win it. And you know why? Because I'm a six baby. I'm here. I'm queer. <laughs> no. I'm still not used to it. Now, what can I say? Ooh. There's your feather. We need two more. We need two more. That's gotta a, be a gorgeous. A second feather? No, it's fucking experience. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. fair enough. I thought it was gonna be experience. That. This indicates to me there's a boss fight coming up. You think? Because I know the, the game ends uh, with an Ares fight. Yes, that I remember very distinctly. But do we fight him a first time and lose or get sent somewhere? No, because we, 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 we get made into a giant for the Ares fight. Right. So I don't think we fight him at all before that. We need a weapon capable of killing the gods is what they sent us to go get. Is that the spear? No, it's the Sword of Olympus. The thing that you the like. The thing I'm looking for. Okay, that's what I... Huh. There's a lot of god-killing weapons. What spear? I'm th remember the spear they had made in God of War uh, Ragnarok? The Dropnir spear that's from fucking Norse mythology? You thought that was the, that was in this? There's so many god-killing weapons. Dude, for, uh, Dropnir isn't even actually a spear in Norse mythology, so... It's a gold coin that self-replicates. Don't worry, we'll get to Ragnarok in like four or five years. Just stick around. I don't think we're gonna... Are we gonna play the fucking new ones? No, I think we'll, uh, I want to play one through three. Definitely. Maybe Ascension, and maybe the PSP games. Oh, God, this is working so much better with this fucking new fucking controller. That upsets me, though, because I, I haven't had that controller for that long. I've, well, only, I've only had it for, like, four years. Well, like I said, dude, it's, uh, if it's just the pads, that's an easy fix. Sure. It does make me self-conscious, though. I haven't been button-mashing too many games. To be honest with you, the suffering I probably did button mash a lot in that one. But square? Hmm. We need every experience point we can get. Even, even, even you. <laughs> Gotta have that one. I was trying to have the timing work. Just like even, even, even you. <laughs> you tried to force it. I tried to have it happen. All right. That's forcing. That's not for. Trying to make a thing work isn't forcing it to work. Okay, Nathan. Sometimes he requires effort. Also, why? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Moving on. Fucking invisible wall. I say we gotta be close to the end of this section. Uh, if no. If not here, we haven't we haven't gotten to the Phoenix Temple. I don't think yet. There's the Oracle that talked to us. Oracle. <laughs> hey, yo, bitch. Oh, hits. Oh uh, man, I'm gonna have to censor this too. I don't even know why you bother. Is the Oracle mortal? Yeah. Okay. The, the Oracle was... So this would be an actual thing during this time period. Now, mind you, there was a couple different Oracles that would that were uh, habitating around uh, the Greece area. Oh, God. Remember falling off the boat eight times? I like how there's a ladder here now when there wasn't a ladder here earlier. This is, this is the same courtyard. Yeah, yeah. That's the bitch who died earlier. But, um, but yeah, so fucking, so, uh, the big oracle in Greece would have been the Oracle of Delphine, if I remember correctly. Delphine being an actual town in, so wait, somewhere in Greece. So oracles are, like, real people? Yeah, yeah, they essentially, they claim they had a conduit to God. Mind you, I don't know super a lot about how oracles worked, um, I know they had big impacts, like, for example. Oh, so th would they have been, like. Prophets from yeah yeah one hundred percent literally like soothsayers and fortune tellers. So um, now the thing is I don't know how um, I don't know I don't remember rather how becoming an oracle worked because I, I don't remember if it was one of the things you had to be bo born into. I think it was just one of those things where like random girls were smart enough to figure out like oh I can have a higher position on the I can cast system. That I'm talking to God. Yeah exactly you know or the gods rather but yeah. Um, Were oracles tied to like specific gods? Like, like you can't beat Oracle for 
Athena and then Zeus at the same time? Uh, sometimes, yeah, yeah. A, a lot of them would pick specific gods. Because you gotta think, in Greece especially, there was a lot of temples dedicated to specific gods. So if you were an oracle for a specific god, then you could go to that temple and fucking be like, hey, I'm an oracle for this god, now I've got, you know, food, board, and a job for fucking life, you know? And on top of that, usually people would give you gifts and offerings to fucking, you know... The same way that the modern church system works to a lesser extent. But, um... You, you did have some oracles that claimed to be, you know, uh, speakers for all gods, and you also had oracles that sometimes even, um, weighed in on... Uh, political practice. Like, I'm not sure if you remember, but uh, they even mentioned it in the movie 300, actually. It's um, been a long time since I've seen that. The oracles are the ones who forbid uh, Leonidas from going to war with the Spartans, and that's why he only takes the 300 out. You know, rather than the whole Spartan army. Now, mind you, in the actual, in real life, it was uh, a decision made by the council, because while there was a king of Sparta, there was a, a council that he, um was uh, beholden to to a certain degree. Not a full senate like Athens had, but like a people senate, if you will. Where it's sure. like, hey, you know, you can turn your back on us, but you're, you're going to be, you know, defying the will of the people, basically, basically, if you do that. I would just pop them both. I, you see, I don't think I need to. Well, why not top off if you're getting to the fucking temple? Well, you never know if you might need to come back here. Might need we those. will never come back here. You never know, man. You never know. Right in the water. <laughs> I like how the, 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 these evil beasts of Ares took her back to her own temple. Yeah. I'll get around to it if I get around to it. Don't rush me, bitch. But you know yeah. how much that sucks being drug up by one arm? Just all that weight in your fucking socket? I, I think you say that as, as an obese man, as well as I am. Like, don't get me wrong. No, th no shade there, but you're, like... You're projecting a little bit. Are you okay? I'm projecting. Did your mother call you fat again for eating Little Caesars? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was Little Caesars, though. <laughs> she gets on my nerves with that shit, man. Where it's like, woman, like, I get it. You lost... You lost, like, 60 pounds because you switched from wine to weed. We're all really happy for you, but now everyone had that lifestyle problem, okay? Oh, God, so do you guys just not have wine in the house now? No, she still drinks wine. She drinks a lot less wine than she okay. used to. Dude, that's something I... I love, like, the drunk you get from, like, a bottle of wine. Like, get a bottle and, like, drink it over the course of, like, a night. Sure. But... The analog good. is way worse. Yeah. Good wine is so expensive, and I just don't know enough about it to to try sure. and experiment. I mean, I I definitely have some wines that I like, but um, I'm no wine connoisseur. Usually, you know, it's my it's me, you know, being drunk and wanting to keep my drunk going, so I break into my mom's cheap fucking Merlot. You know, <laughs> like it ain't exactly rocket science. Get that right? box of Franzi out. Oh, luckily she hasn't she hasn't done. Um, you say Franzi? Franzi. That's the name of the uh, box one. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it's an A, not an O. It's not Fonzie, bro. <laughs> Fonzie, A. Wine, yes? The Grave Digger. I forgot about the Grave Digger. Athena has chosen wisely. Yeah. The, the illusion here is that the Grave Digger is Zeus, by the way. Ah, oh, very well. Look at those hands. He digs a lot of graves. Those Mind you, we have done are huge. We have done this job, okay? We know the calluses that come from. We also had excavators. He has a, a shovel. Is that even a shovel? Okay, yes. yeah. The middle of a battle. Who will occupy it, old man? You will, my son. I just like how he's vaguely black. I didn't take that away at all. Really? He doesn't look black to you? No. What does looking black look like, Justin? Well, he's got, like, dreads and stuff. Those aren't dreads. Like, I just kind of took that as uh, branches coming out of his hair. Ma oh, I don't see the branches. Don't be wrong. Don't disturb me now, son. I've got my work to do, and you... Is there something behind the pile? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. But, so, so in case you don't remember, because I, I don't mind spoiling this as a very old game. I've, I've already, I've also beaten it, yeah, also. Yeah. That's Zeus. Yeah. Digging your exit out of Hades for you. Oh, yeah, he does pull you up, yeah. Yeah, hey, so, so this is Zeus being like, hey, you know, I'm gonna come into your face, say, oh, you know, Athena made a good choice, but just in case you don't make it, 
I'm making a little exit poo, okay, sweetheart? All right, toots? All right? I imagine Zeus well, they, they give us a Gorgon eye and a feather back to back. I well, mean, we're, to, only, we're only 10 minutes in. Let's yeah, keep yeah going. I think anyone who's not going for extra stuff at this point in the game, like, that's like the third one, basically, you yeah. know? So, they definitely want you. I mean, there's no way you go through this game without at least leveling up your shit once. Yeah. You know, just by playing it and not looking around at all. And then if you do explore and you do look around, you probably get more, right? Like that. I don't think I can get up there. No, not now. I'm looking at you, kid. I watched a YouTube video about how, like, uh, people speedrun this. God of War 1? All of God of Wars. Okay. It's some interesting stuff, apparently. I, I, I don't know. Like, when it comes to speedrunning, I, uh, I have this weird, um... I have this weird kind of, like, uh, standoffishness, if that makes sense. Okay. This is a hesitation, if you will. Because, like, I, conceptually, I like the idea, right? I like the idea that people can excel in, 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 in things uh, that you wouldn't expect that people would want to excel in, right? And the fact that, you know, speedrunning is totally, like, a personal agenda sort of thing, right? There's no like, cash money you're going to get from it, right? There's, no, there's not usually a financial incentive. Yeah. Uh, and I think there should be uh, sometimes more in some speedrunning cases. There should be more of a financial incentive. But the thing that does bother me is the fact that, you know... Uh, it, it, it's a community that's rather insular that has been getting wider and wider appeal over the last, I'd say, like, five years. <laughs> and with that wider appeal comes more, you know, um, misconduct and more... Um, what do you mean, like, cheating? Yeah, cheating and, like, people lying about the scores or, like, you know, people... Um, or, or just being toxic in general, right? I'm not saying that a community should stay insular forever because it's more healthy for a community. I think community should grow and change over time. But I, I would say that I have noticed a distinct change in the speedrunning community as a as a, as a far distant observer, mind you, that uh, that is worrying to me on, on a whole because it seems like people are now taking it to a... Uh, they're taking it to a different level, right? You know, people are starting to look for that financial incentive. You know, like, hey, you know, let me, you know, fucking cheat, or let me, you know, just cheese this or whatever, and maybe I'll get fucking viewers on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. And it's like, it's taking some of the more pure elements out, which isn't inherently a bad thing, but definitely can be worrying to someone like me. Well, that was a that was a rant that I wasn't expecting you to have at the ready. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm surprised you haven't noticed anything um, in the speedrunning community yourself. The, the, the most I follow speedrunning is I watch a summoning salt video when it comes out. Fair enough. I was, uh, I, I watch a couple of people who cover speedrunning broadly. I'll be honest with you, to this day, probably one of my favorite speedrunning videos is the American Dad speedrun. Making fun of uh, Make, summoning salt? Ma well, not just no, summoning salt. I'm not making salt. fun of it, because I don't think it was malicious, but it no. was just funny. Hey, man, it's, I wouldn't even say it's just making fun of, right? It's, it, it's referencing the entire culture, really, in a way. You know, like, like the fact that you can just make up a speedrun for a game that doesn't exist and, like, you know, fucking just, you know, it, have it be so believable and fucking real. Oh, that's right. I gotta push these in front of the statue because they spawn endlessly. I was oh, is that what we're doing? Yeah, I was trying to figure out what I was doing for a second. I was like, am I supposed to kill these guys forever? No, I'm supposed to block the whole... The only these guys are even dropping XP anymore. No, they're not. After a certain point, they stop dropping dropping XP. Yeah, you could just farm them. Which I mean, would be cool if you could do. Like, if I could just endlessly farm these guys, but unfortunately not. That would make for a horrible episode. Oh, I'd skip it. We're good. Are you sure that's what we're supposed to do? I could have sworn it was you're supposed to block these up. Did you go up the staircase? Ah, uh, not yet. I was saving maybe that. The, maybe there's something up there. Well, there's definitely other, um, other solutions. God damn it. Other things I can do. God damn it. There we go. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I could have sworn that was what the solution was. You're supposed to cover those with the guys with the shields. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's go upstairs and find out. And what a long staircase it is. Like, can you imagine being like a servant during this time period, dude? Oh, I would have hated it. It instantly fell off. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to push those guys. I think it was just pulling out of the way to open those. No, dude, like, you're supposed to block these fucking holes. I know you are for a fact, dude. Like, I'm not crazy. I'm not oh, crazy. Oh, you, you just didn't have the camera line. I didn't have okay. a quite... Dude, fuck perspective in this game is shit, okay? Yeah, covering these holes makes uh, going through the, um... Upstairs easier? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you don't have to do it. It just makes it easier if you do it. Well, you, you get knocked off so much. Right. Like, I'd say it's... I wouldn't say it's impossible, but, like, definitely, um... Definitely a struggle. I'm moving diagonally. I guess they're not programmed to attack diagonally. <laughs> Yeah, their attack might not line up with you that way. This reminds me of, for some reason, all of a sudden. What's up? Fucking Gladiator. Even though that's in fucking Italy, obviously, and this is in, uh, in Greece. I start getting Gladiator vibes. Mind you. Oh, you can see the, the statue shaking as they try to come out. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. I'm not a complete fucking bucket head. There's something rattling around up there. <laughs> Alright, now it should be easy as piss to fucking cross this, right? Hey, if anyone can- Why do I keep getting the platform? I was gonna say, if anyone can fall off these things, it's gonna be you. Fucking Christ, dude. Such bullshit. <laughs> I swear to God, game! <laughs> let me the fuck across! Suck my cock. Suck- Suck all non-existent inches of my cock and suck it for eternity, alright? How's that fruit force treating you? I've had better. It is making me rather sassy, though. Yeah, <laughs> nope. You get a little fruity in here. Get, get, get more than a little fruity. That's with two O's, by the way. I swear that's the last fucking beam. Yeah, thank you. I get it. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I guess not yet. I think I'm supposed to do it later. Like, I, I'm having vague recollections of this game, so it's like... I, from here on, like, I just don't remember any of this. I remember I remember some of this. I remember a lot of this. I'll be honest with you, the scene that I always, like, take away from this game is Kratos being in the, uh, the temple. Yeah. Uh, Pandora's temple. And, like, Ares, like, 20 miles away... Fucking prayer drone strikes him with a fucking spear okay. and like pierces him for the chest, and that's how you end up in Hades. And like that's when you like find out the full history of like you know um, Kratos with uh, with Ares. That's it. That is it. But I thought I saw something over here. Did I see something over here? No. Okay. And there is something over here. No, there's not. Yes, there is. Bro, that's the chest you didn't open. The Wait fuck it is? Where the hell? Get All fucked, right, bro. Fuck Whatever. Get fucked, bro. Hey, you got Come it. at me, bro. Hold on. How much experience do we have? Uh, 700. Okay, at this point, save it. Because yeah. I, I think we get that sword here relatively soon. The Blade soon. of Olympus. I could have just jumped up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at video games, I swear. <laughs> oh. Hey, why do I keep getting stuck with the fucking platforming sections? This is bullshit, dude. What time is it? Yeah, one of them. Jesus, dude, it's only fucking like 118. Hey, doxing much, bro. See, it looks like you can jump to that fucking platform. Like, I'm not crazy, right? No, you're 100% correct. Like, I, I would have thought the same thing. Like, we must be able to come to that later, like, after we, like, do the Oracle or whatever. Like, that must be, like, a, a thing we can do. I'm surprised about how many health chests we're not using. I mean, we're doing pretty well overall, I'd say. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, not perfect. Like, but... you gotta think we're four episodes into the recording session, so it's starting to, uh, roll with us. Let's keep it going. Okay. Like I said, it's 1.15, we're already done with our recording for the day, so... I like how I gestured non-verbally and you gave me a verbal answer? <laughs> yes. I try We're making it. good TV. Uh, good might be a little generous. We're making... We're not even making TV. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's above average. Dude, that, that moves great. I don't like that wind-up on the heavy. Really? 
I mean, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's definitely supposed I, to be I like... I think it leaves me open a little too long. It's supposed to be the downside of it, but it's also the beginning of your launcher, you know? Don't forget, after this, we gotta record Good Money Hatcher. Yeah, why are we doing that again? Because I want to. <laughs> okay. I remember Billy Hatcher vaguely. Like, that was the, uh... You, that was the one where you were running around with the egg. Yeah. And, like, I didn't quite get it. We also threw you into the multiplayer. Yeah, like, right off the bat. Without having played the game. Does it, wait, is it like a single-player game to that? Yeah, no, it's a... It's like a level-based, uh, third... I guess you would call it a third-person platformer. Well, like there's worlds and like sub levels in those worlds. Like, it's got a really I I think it controls a little weird, but like, dude, if you want to play a game that just has like good vibes to it, Billy Hatcher. Good vibes. Good vibes. The that, fuck does that mean? You just feel good while while you're in it. I didn't feel good when I played it. That's because you got your ass beat. You actually did pretty well if I remember. Stop correctly. beating my ass. Okay, bitch, I got two things to say here. One, you better have amazing arm strength, because I will not hurry. And two... Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> oh, you, are we supposed to have her land under that? No, we need to jump to her and catch her in midair. So we're going to use this as a platform to jump from, if I remember correctly. And this is where Kratos gets sent to Hades? No, we're nowhere near that, dude. dude ha I Hades is, like, within the last third of the game. Like, really, you go to Hades, you come back up from Hades, and then you fight Ares right after Hades. Right. Okay. Like, dude, we have, like, two-thirds of this game to go through. When do we get the sword? Like, I... I the sword this game is longer than I the, remember. The, the sword we get... I'm sorry, what was that? Kratos suck me? Okay. I got you, girl. Don't be that guy. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Don't be weird to the fictional PS2 <laughs> character from 2005. My bad. I didn't realize that was where we drew the line. Hey, they're real people, too. What are real people, too? The people. Uh, see, I, I, I know these are part of the puzzle. I just don't know what they do yet. Did that elder go back up with that on there? Yeah, it did. Why? I don't know. Oh, it's just on a timer. Oh, because you hit the switch. The switch, I think, is what... Sure. Now. Oh, go go do that thing. Go go gadget, gotcha. You. Okay, girl, I need you to like take that energy yeah. and be like a little more constructive with it. I'll be honest with you. Like, you, you straight hating right now, and I don't appreciate that. What'd you okay. miss? And that's where the statue needs to go. Now, mind you, I need to stack these statues on top of each other, if I remember correctly. So, this one here. Take me back up. Grab the other one. Is that really what you're supposed to do, is stack them? I think so. Okay. I don't get me wrong, it's been a lot of years since I've played this, so I'm not straight. I mean, I have demonstrated multiple times how little I remember of this game. Yeah, I think this is a stacking game. Oh, I should have taken this to the end instead of stacking it here. Fuck. Go back up. Go up. Give it time. Do it. Do it. Okay, very well. Do it. This game is so fucking slow. I mean, that helps a little bit, I guess. Yeah, shit. I, I should have stacked them over here, where the brazier is. It's pronounced brazier. It's not pronounced. <laughs> like, wait, you know it's not pronounced brazier, right? Wait, wait, we got this conversation now. In there. This is this is me oh, wait, fucking going off of memory too. Wait. There was a lock on the door. Okay, so I need to go save the Oracle. Okay. I swear to God, Oracle, you knew it was gonna take at least this long. You were programmed with this in mind. It's fine. 
So now you have to jump in between the yes. blades. He don't give a fuck about it. I've that. been taking a well to be fair, he, he thinks saving Athens and defeating Ares is his one ticket to redemption, so mm -hmm. he does care. But this is all pretty simple actually. I should be able to do all this. That's Athena. She's the one character throughout the series, uh, other than like Kratos, who never changes. Oh, actually. we're on a timer now. Yeah. You platforming with a timer. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't don't think about it too much, okay? They show me the path, which is kind of nice. And there's no secondary stuff I have to worry about, really. So, this shouldn't be too bad, actually. I think perspective might fuck with you. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. Like, this is a pretty bad perspective. So I, I have to double jump that, apparently. <laughs> Damn! Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. This isn't as bad. I'm hurrying, bitch. Also, why do you have one pant leg and not the other? Like, I noticed it earlier when you're being flown off by bats, but now we have, like, a second to talk about it? Let's talk about it, okay? Because I'll be honest with you. Like... It's a stylistic choice. Is it... Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Because you've got bad style, then. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's I'm just... Not, <laughs> that's I'm not it, feeling it. That's how it be. Yeah, it never occurred to me I had to double jump that to get to the rope, which is funny in hindsight that I didn't realize that. Okay, one. Get the fuck up. Okay, up first, sir. Okay. Okay. Nailed it. Uh-oh, we got curves. It's okay, I got this. You know how many beams I've walked across this game now? And beams are no enemy to Kratos! That timer might be, though. We're down to ten seconds. Bold. Got her. Also, she changed hair color there. She did. <laughs> she went from a brunette to a redhead. Dude, that, wor <laughs> that worried me, too, because you see the timer? It went from two to zero. Oh, tis again. Yeah, she's totally a redhead now. What the fuck is this? No, no. Perhaps too late to save Athens. Or... Is it Athens you have come to save? I how she's like, save me, save Athens? Wait, perhaps you're too late to save Athens? When the Oracle looked into his soul, she saw a beast as well as a man. Once a captain in the Spartan army, Kratos had begun his command with only 50 soldiers. But soon his numbers grew to the thousands. Leading from the rear, though, what a pussy. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's right here. He's ah! <laughs> but effective. Drunk with power, he was feared by all, except one. His wife was the only one to brave his fury. How Wait, his, his daughter was afraid of him? When will yeah. it end? When the glory of Sparta is known throughout the world. The glory of Sparta. It's so weird seeing him without, like, the, uh, white skin. His what do you mean? He has the white skin. No, because no, you gotta think. Which he they haven't... A... Ultimately oh, you're talking about the, the flashback. Yeah, My yeah, bad. Yeah. Okay. Like him as a normal person. Yeah, mind you, I think they explain in was it Chains of Olympus or such as you. Stay out of my head. They explain Chains of Olympus like the tattoos from like his murdered brother. It's like yeah. wait, what? Strength alone will not be enough to destroy Ares. Athena uh, symbol is an owl. Okay. In case you're curious. One item in the world will allow you to defeat a god. <laughs> Pandora's box, which lies far beyond the walls of Athens. Hidden by the gods across the desert. To Here's where we spend most of our game, Nathan. All right. But be warned, Kratos. Many have gone in search of Pandora's box. None have returned. That's right. The symbol in her head is actually uh, the a Spartan, Omega. Spartan symbol. Oh. It's, a, it's a Greek symbol, but yeah. The All end. right, so let's get to a safe spot. Go through the gates to the desert. Kratos. So, what actually is Pandora's box in like actual mythology? Uh, Pandora's box has already been opened in Greek mythology. So, essentially, the world was... How to explain this without sounding so stupid? Um, essentially, Pandora's box, when it comes to actual mythology, is what released all of the misery, pestilence, disease, 
all that into the world. Before that point, there was nothing. Um, there was nothing bad in the world. Okay. Now, the uh, fable, the moral that's told the story is that the reason why it's called Pandora's Box because there was a very curious young girl named Pandora, and she wanted to know what was in the box. And everyone, you know, was like, you know, oh, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And her curiosity got the better of her. So she opened the box, see, the box to see what was inside, and unleashed all the evil into mm. the world. You know, so it's a, it's a fable. It's a it's a it's a Greek mythology fable talking about you know basically curiosity can kill the cat, um, or release all the evils of the world into the world. Now, mind you, God of War goes a completely different direction because essentially what they say in this game and later games is that um, Pandora's box is the only way you can kill a god. Because Pandora was a weapon manufactured by a great smither. Like, it might have been uh, Hephaestus who made Pandora, but I don't think it was. I think it was a different person who made Hephaestus. And essentially, they were like, hey, we... I, I, I was told by Zeus to make this weapon, and then I made this weapon into a young girl... And I grew to love her like a daughter, and then Zeus forced me to steal her away. But that's lore that comes back. We'll get there. Yeah, that, that, that's like God of War three level lore. So I wouldn't get too absorbed in it at the moment. But that's not a here nor there. All right. Well, let's uh, let's call it here. Oh, actually, oh, one shit. one other fun snippet for you. All right. You notice that uh, Kratos was fighting uh, enemies in that yes. flashback we just watched. Uh, fun fact for you barbarians is a word i'm sure you've heard before yes and the word barbarian is actually greek if you didn't know it well how about that and that was because uh all the greeks thought that everyone who wasn't them uh spoke like idiots and sounded like they were saying bar 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 and so they called them barbarians that's not a joke that is legitimately where the word barbarian comes from so a little fun fact for you there at the end fair enough all right see y'all later bar 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 Thank you.